Hey, it's Rick. Welcome to the channel. In this video, I thought I'd just give you some quick ideas on what to do if you had to cast a part with a hole through it. So I've got this little black piece here. Uh, it came out of a Ryobi um, chemical sprayer, and I wanted to modify the sprayer. Of course, it's all built, you know, to the lowest price point, so everything's pretty proprietary. The pump seems to be proprietary. All the parts are... Uh, this thing came with a... Uh, a threaded piece on the end that was actually British standard pipe. I couldn't get anything to match it. It also had a bunch of weird extra holes because just the way the pump worked and stuff. So I wanted to change it up, uh, cast a new part I decided was the easiest way to go. So I 3D printed this resin bit on the end. It's just a barbed end. That's what I needed. I filled in a lot of the holes with plasticine so that when I go to cast it, I don't get casting in there. And I decided to make a two-part mold so it would come apart in this direction. So I'll show you the pieces I've got here. This is one half. This is the second half. You can see what that looks like on the inside. It's a 3D printed mold case, so it fits pretty tight. This is a Smooth-On's NV29. It's a no vacuum 29 shore durometer uh, um, silicone. It's a tin cured silicone. Uh, vinyl, or sorry, uh, platinum cured silicone is not going to work well with um, casting materials or orth. Platinum cured silicone is not going to work well with 3D printed resin parts, so this would cause cure inhibition and stuff. So, the two just go together like so, but the thing is, this is supposed to have a hole through the middle of it. It's got a channel that comes down and out the other side that liquid has to travel. How do you do that? How do you get that? I thought if I cast it solid and I tried to drill it out, that's not going to work. I'm not going to be able to meet in the middle, have a piece come here and then another hole come this way and not screw up the castings. So my solution was to put wax inside of it. This is simply wax sprue material. So you can buy this in bunches or by the pound or by the dozen, etc. Comes in different diameters. It's simply made of regular old wax. Uh, I melted it together at the seam here to make a nice corner out of it. And I set it inside the mold like this. Let me see if I can get a better angle of that. Okay, so uh, I thought, okay, I'll set it in there like this, and then I'll cast the two parts, and then when it's done, I can either melt the wax out or easily drill the wax out without screwing up the plastic part. Didn't really work though. What happens is the wax tends to float upwards, uh, which means it gets very close to the sidewall. And every time I cast it, it would literally poke out the sidewall. So you'd have a weakness there in that part. So my next thought was, okay, I'll create these little collars. So what I did was I, I 3D printed this with resin. Uh, they're pretty hard to see here. I'll see if I can get them to focus a little bit better. Yeah, so two different kinds of collars. These will just go onto the actual wax. So I created this one to go on this piece and it just slides through. And then this piece is designed to go onto this end and sit right in this little notch there, in that little pocket. And that way, when I go to cast this, it can't really move around right the uh little pieces of the little pieces of of resin hit the sidewalls and you can see in these couple that i've cast here for example if you look at this one you can see this little blue dot there that's actually the clear resin piece uh just showing the the uh wax through it so there's one bit in there and there's one bit and they just stay permanently embedded. And because they're, you know, hollow in the middle, when I run the drill down through, it absolutely just misses them completely and takes out the wax. And uh, yeah, here's one part that I successfully finished. So this one's been cast. The holes for the screws have been drilled out. There's still some blue wax in there. Maybe some heat or something might get that out. I'm not worried about it. Uh, water does flow through this quite easily now. So. You've got this one piece part. You can see you've got a barbed end on here. So if you ever have to make anything custom uh, that has to have some weird, you know, um, pattern through it, I think doing it like this, as long as it's a straight line, I mean, if it's not, you might be able to melt that if you had some weird sort of corkscrew 
hole you needed through it or something, but wax is always a good option to hold that space for you, and then you can remove it later without having to drill or do anything. Anyway, that's it for this one. Just a quick one. I thought maybe this would help somebody if they ever needed an idea on what to do. It wasn't something I'd seen somewhere else. It's just something I sort of came up with. I don't think I invented it by any means, but I thought if I hadn't seen it, maybe other people are asking the same question and they'd want to know as well. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Take care.